Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet, and we are still taking part in the new Halloween missions, guys. We are still at Tiber River, and we're on the next leg of this next mission, the Roman Mystery Doublehead Eel Mission. And in the last episode, we had to catch a whole bunch of fish. We had to get some stale wine. We had to get take some blood from the fish and take it to an ancient well. Anyway, we ended up getting some kind of special type of lure called a lo lo Labradorite lure or something of that nature. But anyway, basically, this is how the mission plays out. The Roman Mystery Doublehead Eel. The ancient amphoras, and I did check, those are actually wine jars that are used by uh, ancient ship fairs that used to use it so that they could stand them up in the sand. Uh, the ancient amphoras from the sunken ship remain scattered along the riverbanks after the wreck. Woe to anyone who takes an amphora. A monster will immediately appear guarding its cursed treasure. The legend says that to break the siren's curse and free the sailors' souls, all the two-headed eels inhabiting these waters must be caught. Now, I've already got this mission tracking. We're getting three bait coins and a trophy, if we manage to get it. But let's get a little background on the double head eel here. The double head eel, Anguilla bicephalus, is a terror of the depths that frightens even the most experienced anglers. This mutated predator, weighing up to 77 pounds, has two fully functional heads, each with its own mind and satiable hunger for hunting. Its snake-like body is covered in slime that releases toxins, paralyzing its prey upon contact. The double head heel can attack from both sides simultaneously, making it nearly unbeatable in close combat. It breaks through underwater obstacles and attacks from unexpected angles. It is said that its appearance is always accompanied by electrical storms, as if nature itself is warning of the danger. Alright, that sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, sounds like fun. Well, we already have the Labradorite flat spin. We need to equip it. We need to use a boat. It is already nighttime, so we can catch each monster after you take its amphora. There's five of those. And then bring the captured monsters to the Phantom Merchant Ship at night. All right. Well, we have got everything, I believe, set up. We've got our stringer that we're going to use to capture and keep these guys. That wouldn't have worked the last time. It's like a ding-dong. I forgot to get that set up. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the map. And we will jump in over here by the where the boat will be. Now, we're going to need a powered boat because that's a little bit far to sail down. So, all right. I think we can also spin this wheel again, see if we can't get anything free. Let's see about that. So we got 666 credits. Eh, eh, it wasn't the best thing. Now was it? Well, let's go ahead and equip the Labradorite. A couple of good rods, a little bit on the heavy side, Nessus, but they should be all right. I should be able to cast out. If not, I guess we'll find out the hard way, won't we? Let's see. It should be down in here. Here it is. They gave us three of them, so we got plenty of them in case we need them. Okay, tackle is too light. Well, let's try the other rod. Sometimes this rod can handle... Nope, we still got a problem with that. We're going to have to go back out of this map and come back, guys, unfortunately. Because I don't have a casting rod and reel that's small enough. I'm afraid. Alright. I will be right back. 
All right, guys, I am back. I did go and get some smaller lures and rods and reels and everything just so that I could make this thing happen. I went ahead and put in the Silverthorn Stake. This is one that came with the DLC that I was able to get. So it is pretty strong and powerful, yet it does allow for lower weight lures. 7th, 8th is the smallest, but it goes all the way up to 3 and 1 16th. Or 1 6, I'm sorry. Which is actually pretty darn wide range, honestly. So that's not bad. I haven't used this one before, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see how it works. This has got the Vampire's Bane 7500. And it, you know, everything is pretty much balanced out there. Now for the other one, I got the Fish Skull Cast 7 foot by 3 inch. This is one I got from the last Halloween mission. This was a freebie that I won for the very, from completing all the missions. Came along with the uh, Fish Spine 7500 reel. So it gets up to 66 pound test. For these guys, it should have no problem. You use the other one if they get any bigger in the next set of monster missions but let's see what happens here guys we need to get ourselves to the boat I like this one because it's got all those runes that glow in the dark so that's pretty cool rod but we are going to be getting into the Draco this one actually has a bottom rod holder on it one of the, the only other boat that has it does not troll though wish it did Alright, this should get us there fairly quickly. I know it's morning, we have to be there at night, but I figured out we aren't going to waste any time. Not sure how long it's going to take to catch these guys. Usually the monsters do not take very long to catch. Alright, we need to slow down considerably. There's the mansion, or the estate or whatever. I think that's it right there. So you can actually see it from shore. Yeah, it just seems strange that I never saw that. I never noticed it. Okay, there's our boat. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I believe it is Ampore. I think that might be the first of them. I don't know if we have to just pull up next to them. But I'm sure we're going to end up having to do this at night. I saw a bunch of them around, so apparently there's several locations where they can be found. Alright, let's... Get this a little bit closer. Okay, it's pretty much what we need to do. Alright, we're going to go ahead, and I believe we do have to do this at night, so let me make sure of that. At night, catch each monster. Okay, that's right. Alright, so we need to advance time. Alright, things just got a little bit spookier, so let's go ahead and grab that. Actually, I got the... Well, shoot, I keep grabbing the wrong rod. There we go. Okay, this is it. So I'm not sure where I need to cast this. Maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, there he is. Did you see the lightning? That was cool. I was wondering when we were going to see him.
bite? Are you gonna bite or not? Several moments later... There we go, finally. Boy, he was not biting, was he? I think the trick of it was we had to go down closer to the bottom, which I was not doing. I'm gonna bump that up even more. He's gonna give me a bit of a fight. That much I kind of expected. None of them are ever easy. But I think you do have to cast towards them, and you do have to fish off the bottom real close. And they're not going to let you pull them in easily. I'm going to have to fight them every time, apparently. Heck on it. This is a tough rod. I mean, for him to fight that hard. Okay. Are you kidding me? Seriously? <laughs> Holy crap. He escaped. Well, they are not easy to get. This, they're not, and it's not making it easier. I keep hitting that stupid rod holder thing, which keeps slowing things down. I'll tell you what. Let's put the tougher, put this on the stronger rod. This one's heavier duty. That's a lot more oomph. He's not going to make this easy. There we go. We got him. I think. Yeah, I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. We got to keep the tension up. I can't do it that way. Just going to have to fight him the old-fashioned way. This rod seems to be doing a little bit better. Not a lot. It keeps getting it back up into like 50 feet or more. Good God! He broke it. He actually broke it. 
Okay, I'm just gonna have to reel him in the old-fashioned way, guys. He actually broke it. Even with this tough old rod, he still broke it. Oh, I bet you anything it was because I had... Shoot, I know why he did it. I know exactly why he did it. It's had a fluorocarbon line on it. That's why. He snapped it. Well, shoot. Well, let's see. We can get up to 88 pounds, maybe. No, let me see if there's one in the shop. I didn't realize it. I was going to lose that. Shoot. I can't even get one big enough. Well, we have steel leaders here. That should do it. I came with the kit, and it's a tough one. There we go. I cannot believe he got loose. We've got two of these left. We can't lose any more of them. Just going to have to fight him the old-fashioned way. That's all there is to it. No heroics. We've got to catch five of these guys. There we go. We got him again. Gotta watch our tension, guys. I am going to bump it up just a little bit, but we're not going to, like I said, go into any heroics. We're just going to have to let him wear himself out. We almost had him in. This is going to take a while. If we have to catch five of these guys, it's going to take that long to wire them out. See how much strength he pulled on that line? He almost broke another one. Looks like he did one less serious pull. to watch attention guys because this guy is seriously not wanting to get caught a few moments later We got him, guys, first time. No, we didn't. Finally. There he is. New personal record, 58.934 pounds, 76.388, 38 cash, 99.9 .9 inches, 20,796 XP gain. That's what really matters. Let's take a look at this fella. Oh, wow. Now that is a funky looking creature. That is one odd looking beastie. It sounds like we got another one jumping. Let me go ahead and get a picture of him.
Let's see, may have to come out a little bit because I can't... Okay, there we go. Got him. We've got him. Let's keep him. So, are we supposed to try to get this other one now? I don't know. I tell you what, I thought I was supposed to pick up these. I already took that one's M4A. So, why is there another one jumping? That's kind of weird. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright guys, I do not know what's going on while these things are jumping out here. I know that you're supposed to pick up the other ones. So I'm going to go ahead and full anchor here and just see what happens if I go to another M4A. There's a couple more. Uh, I mean, there was one real close to shore. Look at that fella. I don't know why he's doing that. Uh, let's go over here and pick up another one of these things and see if we can't attract the next one's attention. Yeah, I know there's one over here. Right next to this little bitty island. We'll slow down a little bit. He's following me. Watch out. <laughs> okay, well. We're going to need to get back in the boat and back up a little bit. This boat's a little on the big side for this, I'm afraid. Just gonna park her right here. Yeah. Let's get our rod back out here. There he is. See, he's over there. It just seems kind of, seems kind of strange. Okay, well, at least now we know how to catch him. Gotta let it drop all the way to. Oh, there he is. He's closer. Wow, he practically jumped in the boat. There we go. I think that's the one over there. We still got that one jumping in front of us. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight this guy for a while, but we already know that, so... See if this guy is bigger than the last one. I think he had, he was 50, at least 58 pounds. I think. You gotta be careful because these guys can get off of there too. All right, guys, I'm gonna fight him for a while. If he starts getting closer, I'll let you know. Several boring minutes later. Alright, we got him guys, we got him. 
There's number two. And that other one's still ticked off. Yeah, he's a little bigger, so that's why he's a bit fi harder to fight, I guess. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger. He was a bit harder to fight. 101 inches. The other one was 99.9 .9 inches. 7773 cash 21302 XP. Back at this rate, we might level up again. Oh, there's another one. Let's just see what happens without picking up an M4A. If we can get this fella. I mean, it is possible. So they're jumping all over the place. I thought there'd be one in each M4A. Eh? That's what I thought. I almost didn't get that one in last time because I apparently wasn't in the right position. Let me go ahead and back this up a little bit. That way I have a little more room to fish. Actually, let's just go ahead and pick up the next M4. Got some fish down there, that's for sure. And oh, there's one over here. They are not happy. Not happy at all. Didn't mean to stop the engine here. Let's... Well, he is mad. <laughs> Got that M4, eh? Yeah, I think I need to get them all, honestly. I like Pokemon. Whoa! Are you a little close? Alright, let's see here. This is probably a good position. Yeah, because he jumped right in front of me right there. Yeah, it'd be a lot easier to net him from here, too. It's not very deep. Alright, guys, we got the third one. Now we gotta get... The fourth one, I'm getting more M4As here. I thought I hit record on the third one. I don't think I got that. But I think you're kind of getting the idea. It, these guys are tough to pull in. They will be quite a fight for you. I don't know if there's five M4As, one for each eel, or if it doesn't matter. Yeah, 
the last time I saw him, he jumped right over here. Whoa! That was close. <laughs> Ooh, got him right there, too. Like I said, you gotta be careful, these guys, they get off of here real easy. Got witch sounds, we got all kinds of cool stuff going on. But yeah, we're gonna be fighting him a while, he's taking it out now. Don't want to push it too hard. We don't want him to get loose. Moments later. Okay, we got him. Finally. No, we don't. God bless it. I'm on. I don't have the strength to keep doing this. Too much longer. And there's the last one. Whew. New personal record. Well, he's the biggest so far, guys. 68.956 pounds. 11... No, 111.5 inches, 800, 800, 89.37 cash, 18.995 XP gain. So he's my personal best so far, guys. Wow. That's a big fish. Big and ugly. Nice. Yeah, I want to make sure that... Wait a minute, that's probably a better picture. I want to make sure that it fills up the screen completely. Two heads. Alright, we got one more, guys. Let's go ahead. Some of them might be pumpkins, but I don't think so. And there's the ship. That looks pretty eerie, doesn't it? see if there's any others. I don't know that there are or aren't. I just see a lot of these pumpkins on a stick and <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what else you call them except pumpkins on a stick. There's a lot of glowy things around. But I think that's all of them honestly. I think there was five and we got all five. I guess we did.
Yep, those are just the pumpkins, I think. So let's go ahead and come out here. Get this last guy. He's going to make us work for it. I guarantee it. Now we shouldn't have any problem getting him. We got two of the spoons left. I'm really sad to have seen one of them get snapped off, but it did. There we go. Yeah, I finally got him to bite, but I just did it a much slower approach. He's out quite a bit farther. So the, again, we're going to be at this for a minute. Without a doubt. But, we finally got him to, to bite. One minute, 37 seconds later. Alright, I think we got him, guys. I think we got him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, that gun it. Come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah. I can't seem to get the net over to him. Finally! Jeez! Now, see, I don't quite understand the XP, because the bigger one didn't get nearly the XP that the other one did. So it's kind of screwed up. I guess it's just random, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, I had one that was 68 pounds and didn't get 22,853 XP. Been pretty random. But actually, that is a great shot. Holy crap, that is a... Couldn't got a better shot there. Got the boat right behind us. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. I think that's going to be the one we're going to use. Alright, we're going to keep him. To bring the captured monsters to the Phantom Merchant ship at night. So we are already there. Well, it helps if I lift the anchor. turn this thing around and get over to the ship. This thing doesn't turn around quite all that easily. But we don't want to come in too fast. There it is. Mission accomplished. Roman Mystery Doublehead Eel. Fantastic job. Three bait coins. Doublehead Eel Mount. And that has been placed in our little backpack. Now the next mission. Scandinavian Mystery Phantom Jakar. According to the legend from the diary, after the Viking ship sank in the waters the Sandar Bagar Sea with an ancient amulet on board, a monster resembling a giant big head carp appeared in the lake. The scales served as kind of an armor, making it invulnerable. Periodically, the monster sank boats. Throughout the centuries, no one has managed to catch this monster. It is said that defeating the monster will free the souls of the Vikings. Don't forget to bring a powerful match rod. So this time we're using a match rod. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we're still sailing. <laughs> well, the ship disappeared, so that is definitely the end. And that was a lot of fun, guys. 
anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that episode I know it was a little bit long because we had a lot of monsters to catch but I don't think the next one's going to be quite as lengthy but anyway guys as I always say aim straight cast far and have fun I will see you later bye bye